The RS-25 is a very complicated engine system, and it's more so than most rocket engines. The, the complexity is kind of defined in the fact that when we first started learning how to operate this engine, we literally had to burn a few of them up before we could uh, learn how to get it started. The thing that starts you off in flowing fluid has to receive fluid from the, thing, the items that it's feeding to. And the timeliness of how you crank something like that up is a, a very uh, precarious environment. It took quite some time in the beginning of the SSME programs to learn how to do this. But it's still a very complicated engine that we have to be very careful with and how we make changes to the engine as we proceed into test. I would 100% agree that it is the most complicated rocket engine out there on the market, but that's because it, it's the Ferrari of rocket engines. Um, it was designed to be highly efficient and there's, when you're looking at designing a rocket engine, there are several different ways you can optimize it. You can optimize it through increasing its thrust or increasing the weight to thrust ratio or increasing its overall efficiency and how it consumes your propellants. With this engine, they maximized all three of those. So anytime you maximize a variety of categories, it increases the complexity greatly. So even though it's the most complex engine, it's also the most efficient engine that's currently in use. One of the main things that's different about SLS is that it's an expendable vehicle instead of a reusable vehicle. So on shuttle, we would light the engines, they'd take off, they'd fly for eight and a half minutes, they'd fire, and they'd come back with the orbiters. Well, for SLS, it doesn't have wings, so it's not coming back. So these are now expendable engines. One of the things that that allows us to do is we actually run them at slightly higher thrust than we used to. It's a higher power level. It's a little harder on the engine. We're running, running it a little closer to redline, but it's safe, especially for short durations on a mission like SLS.